Manchester United progressed to the FA Cup semi-finals after defeating Premier League rivals Fulham at Old Trafford on Sunday evening. The Reds went behind in the 50th minute when Aleksandr Mitrovic put the away side in front. However, Eric Ten Hag's side were level 15 minutes later when Bruno Fernandes scored from the penalty spot. Fulham were reduced to nine men after Willian, who conceded the penalty, and Mitrovic were both sent off. Marco Silva was also sent off and it took the home side just two minutes to make the most of their numerical advantage as Marcel Sabitzer put United 2-1 in front. Ten Hag's men doubled their lead in the added time, with the Reds set to face Brighton in the semi-finals next month. It was a good weekend for United, with several of the club's loanies also enjoying productive weekends. Ahmad, Alvaro Fernandez and Charlie McNeil were among those in action. Here's how the club's loanies got on over the past few days. Ahmad the young attacker was once again on the scoresheet for Sunderland, converting from the penalty spot to rescue a point for the Black Cats against Luton Town. Ahmad stepped up to take the penalty after being fouled in the box to ensure Tony Mowbray's side came away with a draw. Ahmad, who was recently called up to the Ivory Coast squad for the first time since 2021, has now scored nine times in all competitions this season. Charlie McNeil United striker McNeil scored his first senior goal as Newport County secured a 3-1 victory away to Tranmere Rovers on Saturday afternoon. The 19-year-old scored the away side's second goal in the League 2 win. It was McNeil's first for the club since signing on loan in January, but also his first as a professional. Alvaro Fernandez Fernandez played 86 minutes for Preston North End as Ryan Lowe's side were thrashed 4-0 away at Middlesbrough, who are managed by former Reds midfielder Michael Carrick. It was a disappointing afternoon for both Fernandez and Preston, but the 19-year-old was praised by his manager after the defeat at the weekend. He has made 34 appearances so far this season. Charlie Savage Charlie Savage played 59 minutes for Forest Green Rovers, but he wasn't able to impact the result as his side lost 2-0 at Plymouth Argyle in League One. The Reds youngster was recently granted permission to remain with the relegation-threatened club during the international break after he was initially called up to Wales U21 squad. Axel Tuansby the centre-back played the full 90 minutes for Stoke City, keeping a clean sheet as the Potters drew 0-0 with Norwich City. Axel Tuansby has played five times for the Championship Club since joining on loan in January. Hannibal Mejbri Hannibal came off the bench in the second half as Birmingham City secured a 1-0 win at Queen's Park Rangers thanks to an early goal from ex-United man Tahith Chong. Eric Bailly, Alex Tells, Mate Cover Eric Bailly was brought on in the latter stages of Marseille 2-1 away win at Reims, while Alex Tells played 72 minutes for Sevilla in a 2-0 loss to Getafe. The Brazilian defender could potentially come up against United when Ten Hag's side clash with the La Liga outfit in the Europa League quarter-finals. Meanwhile, Mate Kovar kept another clean sheet as Sparta Prague won 2-0 away to Herodets Kralov at the weekend. The young goalkeeper has kept seven clean sheets so far this campaign. Ethan Galbraith, Will Fish, Maximilian Oyadeli, 
Joe Hudgel youngster Ethan Galbraith played for Salford City as they secured a 3-1 win over Doncaster in League 2, being replaced by Connor McCallany in the 88th minute. Meanwhile, Maximilian Oyadeli and Joe Hudgel both started in Altrincham's narrow defeat at Eastleigh in the National League. Elsewhere, defender Will Fish was on the wrong end of a 3-1 scoreline as Hibernian lost to Celtic. The 20-year-old played 69 minutes for the Scottish side, 